I would have the biggest, gayest pride float that I could possibly have. But I want to go to every single small town pride as possible and get the most visibility possible. My name is Kyle Griffin. I'm a writer and producer at MSNBC, and I try to make sense of the crazy world in which we're living on TV and on Twitter. My work allows me to express pride because every day I'm fortunate enough to be able to cover LGBTQ issues that are affecting our community. It's been really kind of awe-inspiring to see how far we've come in just the stories that I'm covering and the stories that I'm talking about. I remember where I was in 2015 when the Supreme Court said that gay marriage was legal in all 50 states. And I remember the euphoria that I felt that I got to not only experience that as a gay man, but also the honor that I felt that I got to cover it and that I got to write stories about it for people that mattered. And obviously now in the past couple years when LGBTQ issues are, and the community is under assault a bit, I feel now more than ever before for a sense of pride and a sense of duty to make sure that issues that are affecting our community are heard. Being out has taught me that I am a lot stronger than I ever thought possible. When I was growing up in upstate New York as a teenager, I couldn't see what was next for myself because I wasn't sure that I was ever gonna be strong enough to actually come out and open that first door. But once I found the strength to do that, I found that I had the strength to open so many more doors. I could open doors and figure out who I was as a person, figure out my personal life and my professional life. Um, and I realized that only after I discovered that I had the strength to open that first door. Something that has given me a great sense of pride in the last year is seeing an openly gay man run for president of the United States. To see him taken seriously, to see him respected, to see him given a voice on such a national platform, it has given me a deep sense of pride to see Pete Buttigieg live his life and to hope to see that other people respond to that well. I don't know if I can say that I personally have a legacy that I'd like to leave, but I would say that for my generation, as I hope that every generation feels, I just hope that by being visible and by being vocal, that we make it easier for the next generation and that we also give the next generation the tools to make it easier for the people who come after them and the people who come after them. <laughs>